Hey light lovers, this is Ardeen. I'm going to do a quick tutorial, yes a tutorial, on how to um, extend a solid background in Photoshop Elements. Yes, I said Photoshop Elements. I use Photoshop Elements. I'm going to open the file that I'm going to be working on. Um, in fact, since I started shooting in 2008, I have always and only used Photoshop Elements. Actually, correction, I've always used Photoshop Elements and the last few years I started using Lightroom. Um, if I could do everything in Lightroom, that would be amazing. I do most of my culling and my exposure correction in Lightroom and then I just bring it into Photoshop for using this tool down here, the Spot Healing Brush and a few other things and then I use one other program to do a few more skin retouching things. But if I could all do it in one, it'd be great. But yes, I only use Photoshop elements because I really don't do that many things to a photo. I try to get the photo as good in camera as I possibly can. So I don't have to do that much work after because I don't love editing. So that being said, I just learned this new trick. I am late to the game. Um, so this trick is all about making, turning this portrait photo, uh, photo into a square crop super simple and easily. So what you do is you grab your um, crop tool, select, um, I'm selecting five by five, so it's square. I'm gonna drag over the photo, drag it to a square, pull that back so it's centered because I want this nice and centered. Hit yes to accept. And then all you do from there is you grab this tool over here, which is the rectangular marquee tool. You're gonna be amazed. Click on that, then you drag on the area that you want to duplicate. You drag on that area, like so. Then you click on the move tool, the big arrow, as I like to call it. Then you extend your little, uh, little boxes off the edge. And this final box, you extend it right off the page. You hit accept and oh my gosh look at that how easy was that i'm gonna do it again for you hit the marquee tool you select the area that you want to duplicate you hit your move tool the big arrow you grab your boxes drag them off the top and bottom and then you drop the drag the final one off the side you hit select, enter, and boom! Oh my goodness! And it's not perfect, it is an algorithm, I guess. And so there might be areas you might be like, ah, oh, it's, it's a little bit thing, but you pretty much, this is it, you're done. Um, like, isn't that mind blowing? So that was my simple, super easy tip for extending your background in Photoshop Elements. I was late, but I'm sharing it with you now. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. It was my very first tutorial. Don't expect any more from me because I really don't know anything about Photoshop. Um, but, you know, I hope this help us help someone else out there that's like me who doesn't really do a whole lot of editing, but could use a trick like this. All right, bye guys.